Hello and welcome guys to this brand new video of our Laravel GWT authentication using Vue.js as a front end. So in the last videos we created the simple UI so and implemented the lo logic of our login. Okay, so now we can just log in. And of course we saved our GWT token in the local storage and now we can refresh normally and of course access to our dashboard but there is still remains one problem and that is if we look here in our config gwt and scroll down to the ttl so the ttl is time to live and it is uh, the the time that our token is valid so this in this it's 60 minutes as you can see here it's in minutes so we have only 60 minutes and after that our token is no longer valid so we will have to register uh, to to log in again sorry now there is multiple ways to fix this one of them is to obviously increase this like let's put it like this and now our state or our token is always there it's always valid so it will take it a lot of time to be invalid okay that's one solution now there is another solution and that is using this of course we are not going to use this solution and this is you here in our check token so this check token we, uh, every request we are sending to this endpoint and check if our token is valid so here what we can do is every single request we are going to create a new token and invalidate the last one and send the token back to our user so it can be replaced but this is very bad practice because it's gonna put a lot of load on the server now imagine there is a hundred thousand or a million users and you are constantly in every request you are refreshing the token and that's not really very practical so the other solution is to refresh our token so it, if it's invalid we are going only to refresh it so we can give it like uh, we are going to create a new token so we have like if we say one hour every one hour we are going to create a new token so that's not very bad okay of course in your real application you are going to increase this like let's say 24 hours or maybe 24 hours sorry 60 there you go now it's 24 hours so maybe you want to like a month let's just say okay so now we are going to keep it simple. I'm just going to use one minute here so we can see that the token is not valid. And now I'm going to proceed with my solution. Now, the first thing we need to do is to create our custom GWT authentication middleware. So I'm going to use artisan, HP artisan, make middleware, middleware, and let's call it GWT authentication. There you go. Now let's go to our app, HTTP, middleware, and there you go. So here what, what we need to do before we return the next request, I'm going to say GW, GWT auth, of course we need to use the facade, okay, parse the token, so it's gonna search for the token and authenticate. So, of course, this, if it's not, if it doesn't find the token or the token is not valid, it's going to return an exception. So we need to handle that exception. So we are going to use try catch exception E. There you go. So we are going to try this. Now, if we have an exception, now we have like multiple exceptions here. Let's treat them there you go now the first exception we are going to treat is instance of token token invalid let's start with the expired one okay i'm going to return response with json let's say success is false and the message is token expired and let's send the status of 401 let's copy and paste those here so we can 
there you go now we, let's say it's invalid and here let's say it's token not found there you go now here is instance of token invalid exception and if it's invalid or not expired then it is not found okay there you go now we need to register this middleware here in our kernel so we go here and say GWTR is in our app HTTP middleware GWT authentication class okay there you go so now what we need to do is go to our auth controller and change this to GWT auth okay that's very good I guess this is working I'm just gonna restart the server here so we don't have any problems because because I've changed some configuration here okay so now let's open up our console I hope everything is working and now let's check okay now it says it's good let's wait This should be invalid after one minute. Actually, let's just log out because I guess it will save the state of the last uh, token. So we are going to enter a new one. Okay. There you go. Of course, now everything should be good. Now let's wait for just one minute. There you go. So after waiting for one minute, we get this token expired. That's very good. So our GWT middleware is working fine. So now what we need to do is to refresh that token. So to do that is actually very straightforward. Forward, sorry. So all we need to do here is say new token is equals to GWT path parse token and refresh that's it so now what we can send is send the token and actually let's just say status and let's call it expired so we can check that in the in the front end okay so now of course we still have that token so all we need to do is refresh and go back again to our dashboard okay sorry now we've deleted that of course we are clearing the token every time so actually what i need to do is remove those clears here okay so the next time the next time we are going to log in it's not going to clear the token because i want just to see the the, the response okay so i'm just gonna log in again there you go okay now let's just wait another minute so there you go now we have the status of expi status of expired and the new token there it is so now what we need to do is in our front end actually what we need to do first is change this 401 let's do 200 and let's keep the success to be false okay so we can actually go here and let's check if success the data to success Let's say if it's false, there you go. Else, actually, this is always gonna be false. Now, if it's refreshed, then we need to say s.store dot commit set token, and the token is actually response.data.token there you go now let's do the same thing in our login so if it's success 
else let's do this and actually the loading is gonna be false anyway there you go I guess this should be very good one problem I guess there is something wrong here it should not be here I don't know from where that came okay now let's check that out I think this should work okay so now one more thing I'm going to do is actually copy this token manually so we don't have to wait one more minute so I'm, I'm going to copy this copy and let's paste it here so let's try now and let's refresh there you go the new token is here and actually it's 2zq there you go so now even though the token is expired as you can see here we could have refreshed it and used it again and now we can actually stay logged in now we can log in now let's wait for the next so we can see it clearly okay there you go so now the token is expired and there you go the new token here and it's finished by rk rka let's go here and there you go so now the token is updated every time it's expired of course we are still logged in now let's try to change now we, we've changed the token so let's check the console here of course it's gonna give us the invalid token here there you go and now we are logged out so i hope this video was easy to understand i hope the gwt authentication was easy to implement in using laravel so if you have any questions or any suggestions please comment below and i see you in the next video take care